Periodically, Mother Nature reminds us she is a force to be reckoned with. Hundreds of thousands of people can be wiped out over a span of seconds or minutes, and more can die as they struggle to survive in what's left of their ruined homes. Here, we count down 10 of the most deadly natural disasters of the last 100 years. The Yellow River in China has been the setting of multiple catastrophic floods, but the ones in 1931 were so destructive that they are generally considered the most deadly natural disaster not only of the last 100 years, but in all of recorded history. The death toll, which may have been as high as 4 million, did not simply come from drowning. People also died of starvation as crops were ruined and major cities suffered catastrophic damage. Others died of cholera and typhus, which resulted from drinking contaminated water. The deadliest earthquake of the last 100 years occurred in Tangshan, China in 1976. As many as 650,000 people were killed in a city of 1.6 million. There are several reasons why this earthquake with a 7.8 magnitude caused so much loss of life. First, predictions of a large seismic event were largely ignored. Second, it struck at 4 a.m. when most people were sleeping. Third, there were no warning foreshocks. Fourth, it had a major urban center which had not been built to withstand earthquakes. 85% of the buildings in Tangshan became uninhabitable and many of their occupants were crushed. The Bolo Cyclone in East Pakistan in 1970 was the deadliest cyclone in history, killing as many as half a million people. The East Pakistan government was heavily criticized for its response to the crisis. It appeared to be providing little and hamstringing the humanitarian efforts of other countries and organizations. A month after the storm, the opposition party secured a landslide victory in Pakistan's first election. The storm also contributed to the outbreak of the Bangladesh Liberation War four months later, which culminated in East Pakistan gaining independence as the nation of Bangladesh. Sometimes known as the Boxing Day Tsunami because of the holiday on which it fell, the Indian Ocean Tsunami killed at least 230,000 people in 14 countries, with Indonesia being hard as hit. In addition, tens of thousands of people remained missing and almost 2 million people were displaced. The tsunami was triggered by an earthquake off the coast of Indonesia with a magnitude between 9.1 and 9.3, making it one of the most powerful earthquakes ever measured. It triggered waves up to 100 feet in height. The Indian Ocean Tsunami is the world's deadliest tsunami. Its fatalities doubled that of the previous record holder, which was triggered by an earthquake in Italy in 1908. The Haiyuan earthquake in China in 1920 killed between 200,000 and 235,000 people as buildings collapsed and mudslides buried villages. Aftershocks continued for three years, leaving people frightened to build permanent structures which could collapse. As such, they spent harsh winters in small, temporary structures where many succumbed to the cold. Typhoon Nina is the fourth most deadly typhoon in recorded history, and the second worst in the last 100 years. It hit Taiwan as a Category 3 storm, then weakened to a tropical storm by the time it hit mainland China, yet it was in China where most of the fatalities occurred. Nina dumped 64 inches of rain near Bangkyo Dam, which burst. As many as 230,000 people eventually died from flooding and the famine and disease which followed. A 7-magnitude earthquake struck Haiti near the capital of Port-au-Prince in 2010. The death toll was probably between 100,000 and 160,000, although Haitian authorities have given numbers as high as 316,000. Millions of people were displaced. The extreme poverty of Haiti exacerbated the situation. The government was unprepared to deal with the scope of recovery efforts. Six months after the quake, 98% of rubble in the capital was still uncleared and thousands of bodies still decomposed within it. In 1923, an earthquake of 7.9 magnitude struck Japan, causing great damage to many cities, including Tokyo. The Great Kanto earthquake struck at lunchtime, when many people were cooking. Those fires went out of control, and in some places, built into firestorms. A typhoon struck at roughly the same time, further fanning the flames, which took two days to extinguish. The earthquake triggered the mudslide and tsunamis, which further added to the death toll. 148,000 people died, and almost 2 million were left homeless. In 1991, a Class 4 Indian Ocean cyclone made landfall in Bangladesh, killing 138,000 people, most of whom drowned. Cyclone shelters had been built after the Bola cyclone, but people were only given warning a few hours in advance. In addition, not everyone believed the storm would be as bad as was forecast. Still, more than 2 million people did evacuate, which cut the potential death toll considerably. 
Cyclone Nargis struck Myanmar as a Category 4 storm in 2008. Many of the deaths came from the Irrawaddy Delta area, which was hit by a huge storm surge. The official death toll stands at 138,000 people. However, Myanmar's military regime has been accused of failing to update the death toll as information continued to come in to downplay the severity of the tragedy. The government also put up numerous roadblocks to international humanitarian aid, while emphasizing its own relief efforts. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our other lists, and we'll see you all next time.